Hello, my name is Loiro, metric number 70238. I will talk about the intended audience and document overview. So first of all, this SRS is designed for our client IEM UPMS as well as Madam Nufal Zabin Tejali, our instructor for the software engineering laboratory course. The IEM UMPSS Web Applications SRS comprise information about the application's overall description, specific requirement, non-functional requirements, other relevant requirements, and appendices. The developers will use the other section explaining the requirement specification to express the requirement of this web application in an understandable manner. For the UK Instagram, we can see that there are two actors which is event participant and admin. For the event participant, they can access to the IEM UMPSS portal to view organization information which contain briefly introduction of the organization and what they do. Furthermore, they can also view event from the portal to view event details whether it is current event or any upcoming event. If the event participant register to an event, they will need to make their payment directly with a form for them to fill in their personal information for verification. Besides that, they can view announcement which the admin will announce any information about event. Last but not least, event participant can contact admin from the about us page. From the admin perspective, we can see that admin can edit event, edit participant list, send confirmation email which is needed to confirm the user payment, edit organization information, edit announcement, and last but not least, login. And in here, the admin can change the admin password. For the activity diagram, the admin will need to login to the system. If the verification fail, they will need to relogin. After logging is successful, they can go to the dashboard. At the dashboard, the admin can weather visit participant list page and then edit participant list or visit booking page and view list of the event or visit create or edit event page and in here, the admin can create events, edit events or delete events or the admin can visit setting page and change password from the dashboard. After all, the admin can log out from the system. So now for the extended entity relationship diagram, we can see that there are five entities in this IEM UMPSS Auto Online Ticket Booking System. For the event category table, we can see that it has one primary key which is category ID. For the event table, we can see that there are one primary key which is event ID and one foreign key which is category. From the registration table, we can see one primary key which is registration ID and two foreign key which is event ID and IC. From the participant table, we can see that there are one primary key which is and from the receipt table, we can see one primary key which is receipt no and two foreign key which is registration ID and IC no. That's all for me. Thank you. Hi, my name is Izurin and my metric number is 65931. I will present the next slide which is the product perspective, product functionality and user and characteristic for IMUMP SS portal system. Firstly, the product perspective of this system is to develop an online ticket booking system for IM UMP student where the client they can optimize their time and budget when selling the ticket. This project serves the role of decent and reliable system as a foundation for further development of IM UMP student section portal. This figure shows the IM UMP SS portal online ticket booking system where the user will engage with the system by searching for the system in the server. The process between the server or website, the database and the payment happen at the same time. When user has completed their session and fulfilled all of the requirements, this collected information will be sent to the admin by email. Admin will verify the process that happened between the user and the system. For even the involved payment letter, user will receive the email receipt generated by the system. Product functionality is based on user perspective and experience while handling the system. User will view the organization information based on IM UMPSS portal, view event and register event, make payment, view announcement and contact admin. While for the admin, they will log in the IM UMPSS portal, edit organization information, edit event, edit participant list, send confirmation email to the user. Confirm user payment for paid event, edit announcement, and change password. Lastly, for the user and characteristic, the purpose of this project is to bring convenience to management of IM UMP to the session and participant. It is anticipated that participants will visit and use the system to participate in events 
as frequent as two times a week. Besides, we also anticipate the peak number of participants visiting and registering events at the same time to be maximum of 20 people and minimum of zero. The main user of this system is event participant and I am UMP student session management. The event participant will be expected to be majority engineering student of UMP as most events relate to engineering, while I am UMP student session, uh, they can publish new events, set participation, manage events and participants, showcase organization to public through this system. That's all from me. Thank you. Greetings to Madam Nafauza. My name is Hamin Shing. My matrix number is 69868. Now, I'm going to briefly talk about the operating environment of IEM UMP SS Portal. IEM UMP SS Portal is best performed on PC while it's still accessible on Android and iOS. This is due to that the UI design of the system is mainly focused on PC screen aspect ratio and it would be less user-friendly when running it on mobile devices. For security reason, it is not suggested to run the website on obsolete web browsers such as Internet Explorer as it poses security risk to users. This figure shows the operating environment of the IEM UMP SS portal. Throughout the planning and design of this project, there are a few constraints or limitations that are considered by our development team. In the aspect of hardware constraints, IEM UMP SS portal is designed to be used on PC through internet browser. Furthermore, IEM UMP SS portal is a web application hosted on the internet, so the users will need internet connection with adequate speed to use the system. Other than that, the user interface of IEM UMP SS portal is delivered in English language so that many people can use the application as English is the lingua franca. As for timing constraints, the time a user needs to load the page should be less than 5 minutes. Considering the financial constraint and the time constraint of the project, the incorporation of payment gateway is unfortunately cancelled and the product can only be launched and hosted on a free hosting server. So in conclusion, due to the time and financial constraint of this project, our team does not have the ability to monitor and maintain the system. As for the user documentation of this project, the system is completely functional and can run smoothly once the website system has been set up in the web server system that involves processing and transaction of data or information from the user while using the website system. After that, the assumptions and dependencies of this project are stated as below. Firstly, cross-checking of user booking information and receipt uploaded is required frequently to ensure the participant has successfully booked for an event. Secondly, the system relies on stable internet connection on both ends to function smoothly. Lastly, the system will be supported by multiple platforms and browsers. Hello, I am Esther Wong Chingya, metric number 69636. Let me first introduce you to the hardware, software, and communication interface. For the hardware interface, a personal computer, smartphone, or tablet that support any web browser, such as Google Chrome or Mozilla Firefox, is required. For the I.O. hardware, a mouse, keyboard, and monitor are required. Besides, a good internet connection is important to run our IEM UMP SS portal. For the software interface, the IEM UMP SS portal is built based on the programming language familiar to all development team members. We use HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to design the website. For the back end of the system, we use the scripting language such as PHP and MySQL for the database management. We use the programming language accepted by the current web pro development process. For the communication interface, an internet browser with JavaScript enabled is required. Simple mail transfer protocol, SMTP, should be used to send and receive the email 
securely. The architecture we are considering is a client-server-based architecture. The communication between the client and the server is provided through hypertext transfer protocol secure. Hello, I'm Tan Le Zhuan, metric number 01664. I'm going to talk about the functional requirement for user. The first one is user can view event. The functional requirement is a system must be able to display a list of available events and event details from the database. The second use case is user can view announcement. The functional requirement is a system must be able to display announcements from the database when the users visit the announcement page. The third use case is user can contact admin. First functional requirement is the system must be able to allow user to leave a message and store in the database. The second requirement is the system must be able to retrieve the messages for the admin to address the issue or provide support to the user. The first use case is user can register event. The first functional requirement is the user must be able to allow user to register an event. The second requirement is the system must be able to store the user detail in the participant list and database. The third is the system must be able to retrieve the event information from the event list. The top right is the sequence diagram of the use case followed with the user interface design. The fifth use case is user can make payment. The first functional requirement is the user must be able to allow user to complete their payment and load the transaction to the booking list. The second requirement is the system must be able to store and retrieve the booking information in and from the system. The sequence diagram is depicted. The booking pop-up user interface is slightly different than the one without prices. The sixth use case is user can view organization information. The functional requirement is the system must be able to display the organization information of IEM. The sequence diagram is as depicted. The top right is a user interface for the About Us page. Good morning, my name is Leong Kapong, metric number 70220, and now I will talk about the functional requirement for use case on admin side. First, admin can log in. The requirement is the system must have a login page displaying the required information or credential for the login process to administrator. As you can see here, there is the use case description and the sequence diagram for this use case. This is the login page the admin will log in in this page. This is admin can edit participant list. The functional requirements are the system must have a login page displaying the required information or credential for the login process to administrator. The system must be able to allow admin to update the participant detail and the system must be able to store new information in the database. After login, the admin will see the list of all existing events. And this is the participant list of an event the admin can will receive, send email or delete the participant. Another use case is admin can confirm user payment. This is the use case description of this use case. And this is the requirement and the sequence diagram of this use case. The functional requirement are the system must have a login page displaying the required information or credential for the login process to the administrator. The system must be able to allow admin to verify the payment from the participant list. And the system must be able to retrieve the participant's payment information from the database. By clicking the view button from the participant list, the admin can view the attachment uploaded by a participant. He can either accept or reject the attachment uploaded. There are four functional requirements for send confirmation email. The first requirement is as the same as before. The second requirement is the system must be able to allow admin to send confirmation email to participants containing the email list and unique identifier of the user, event participation key such as Zoom link and link to WhatsApp group. The third requirement is the system must be able to retrieve the event information. And the last requirement is the system must be able to retrieve participant details from the event participant list in the database. And this is the sequence diagram for this use case. At the participant list, the admin can click on send button to generate and send email to the participant. If the participant's payment has not been verified, the admin cannot generate and send email to him. For admin can edit event, the first functional requirement is at the same as before. The second functional requirement is the system must be able to allow admin to edit the event details. The system must be able to update the event details to the database. And the last is the system must be able to retrieve the event details from the event list. And this is the add event page to add new event. Besides, this is the form to edit event. And this is the form to delete event.
For ED announcement, the first functional requirement is as the same, and the second functional requirement is the system must be able to allow admin to make changes to the announcement from the database. Next, we move on to announcement list. This is all the announcement created by the admin. This is the add new announcement form, and this is the form to edit announcement. As for edit organization information, the first functional requirement is as the same as before, and the second functional requirement is the system must be able to allow admin to make changes to the organization information and save it to the database. The admin also can write about themselves using this form and upload into the website or they can change the existing information using this form. Last use case for admin is change password. The first functional requirement is also the same as the before and the second functional requirement is the system must be able to allow admin to change their login password and update it from the database. And lastly, the admin can change his password. Another feature is feedback given by the participants. By clicking the view button from the feedback list, the admin can view the content of the feedback. Now, I want to introduce you to other non-functional requirements. For the performance requirements, the interface on interaction should be updated within 5 seconds. Any transaction will not take more than 2 minutes. And the database should be distributed to prevent outages. For the safety and security requirements, the database should use sharding to be, to be redundant to prevent the data loss. The system shall not leave any cookies on the customer computer containing the user's confidential information. The system's back and servers shall only be accessible to authenticated administrator. This is the software quality attributes. For the usability, the interface should be user-friendly and easy to learn without a tutorial and allow the user to accomplish their goal without errors by designing the interface with well-known structure. For the maintainability, the features and the bug fixes should be deployed quickly without downtime by using continuous integration. For the security, the website is password protected and any updating of new products is done by only privileged users by providing admin account. That's all from me. Thank you. The data dictionary of this project is shown in the table below. There is a table for category, event, registration, participant, and receipt.